Okay, you guys, I'm back, and we are finally at the end of this little series. Here is how our three pieces has turned out. Isn't that flower just gorgeous in my dragonfly? Here is the butterfly, a little flower, lots of texture there. Love it. And then... This one here, the three girls that wore, was a image transfer. Not loving this one, but let's see what we can do with them. We're going to go right in order here. I'll show you the tools I've got out. I've got a damp uh, cloth. I use bandana. I, I like how it um, doesn't have any fuzzies when you use it. I have a spray a bottle with water. I have a um, black Stabilo pencil. I have a brown Stabilo pencil. I have a black General's Charcoal 6B Extra Soft. And I have a DeWent Intense Bark color uh, watercolor pencil. Oops, I'm sorry. Also, I have a black chalk writer. It's like a um, kind of like a black lipstick. You can also use a black marabou crayon. Same thing, just different name. I have a vintage photo distress crayon. You could use black soot. You could use any color you want. This is just what I like to use. I have a um, white pastel pencil. We're going to use some of that. And then we may do some uh, chalk pastels. Now I have mine divided in color groups here on my desk. Got my browns, my um, pinks, oranges, and reds, and then my blue, greens, and purples. And I think the blue, greens, and purples are going to work for that. We'll set that one aside. And I also do have some water-soluble crayons. Um, not sure if I'm going to use those or not. These are Neo Color. And let's get started on this one, okay? So here we go. We're going to go around the image. And I think I'm going to start with browns. I'm also going to get a uh, fine tip water. Uh, brush. Let's get you in here a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Get some of this out of the way and let's get going here. See how it works. Now I'm choosing brown for this one just because I'm going to choose black for this one. It, it, it's what you want, what you feel, what goes with your piece. So I'm going to go around and I'm using my brown and my Stabilo pencil and we're just going to see how this is going to work. I'm going around the image to create um, shadow and depth and dimension. Now I'm not pushing very hard at all. I'm just going around and we're going to see on this side, we'll do this side on the um, on the right and then I won't do the left side so you can see the comparison. How about that? And you decide. You may not like this uh, way of finishing your pieces and that's totally fine. It's what you like, right? Oops, I said I wasn't going to go around that side. Okay, so I went around that and I also have a little bit of water in this container. And I just set it here on my uh, craft mat. And I take this uh, fine watercolor brush. This is a number one. And I just go around with the brush. And I'm going to do half of this piece so you can see um, when you do it and when you don't do it. So I go around and I uh, pull out the color and I 
kind of melt that Stabilo pencil just like that. If it gets a little too much, use your damp towel. And I sometimes wipe it on my finger here if I have a little bit too much um, water. Okay, well, I hope you liked the series. We're finally at the end. And this is definitely my favorite part is um, doing these finishing touches. And um, you'll find what you like and what you don't like. So you can see the difference. And um, like I said, I'll do this side with and leave this side without. And then in the final pictures at the end, I will do some close-ups so you can see all the pieces completed. Now I'm doing that so you can see what you like, of course, and also um, to save time for this video. Because if you're like me, sometimes you get watching videos and that's all you do is you're watching videos. I, I got to get my hands in there. I got to get, get going. I got to create things. And I am working on a little bit of a stash here um, for a craft show. I can't even believe that there's going to be such a thing. I... I didn't think I was really going to um, get into any craft shows this year, you know, just because with COVID and everything, I kind of just gave up. It's just like, ugh, whatever. But I've got a lot of projects that I've made, and um, I think they're worth a couple bucks, you know. Somebody might want something for a few dollars, so... I'll go, I'll go, there's a one in the fall that I like to go to, I like to be a part of, and I'll go and see what happens. I'm going to price everything really, really inexpensive <laughs> and just kind of blow it out and uh, make room so I can keep creating and I'll use the money to buy some more fun supplies and some more fun products and We'll make some more videos and we'll keep on trucking, right? Okay, so this is as far as I'm going to go on that side. And you can see how that pulls out and makes that um, real nice. I think that looks real good. A lot different than this side. You see what I mean? So... Um, yeah, go to the pictures at the end and I'll show you the finished product by going around all of it and finishing. Um, I'm going to do this edge and I'm going to use on here um, vintage photo. I'm going to see what happens here. I usually use my black. But because these are such brown colors, I, I kind of wanted to stick with the browns and see how that would look. And it does look good. See, there's quite a little edge to this piece. It's um, The brown will work the best. And you can put this on your finger here and just kind of Go over this cheesecloth, and that is bringing out that texture. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. So you just keep going with these final touches until you get it how you like it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. See, you know, I just want to keep doing the whole thing. But I don't want to do the whole thing because I want you to see one side to the other. I like I like when it's finished. It's just not finished me if you don't finish it. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Here is a little bit of 
this white pastel pencil and I'm just going on some of the areas to bring out that white their highlights and then you can use that with your finger blend it in that looks so nice I don't want to do the whole thing again. You don't like it, you use your damp towel here and you wipe it off because these products, this one, the um, Stabilo Pencil and the Chalk Riders or the things that I edge with are always going to be water soluble. That means you can <clears throat> go right ahead and wipe that off with water. Now also, your um, soft pastels are water soluble. So you can go in and just add all kinds of color, depth, and dimension to these beautiful flowers. Oh, look at those beautiful purples. And you can see how you can just keep going and going and going and it just gives you so much great 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 texture okay so i'm going to stop because i want you to continue watching what we do with the next one and like i said in the pictures at the end you'll see these finished Okay, let's go on to the butterfly. Same thing, I'm just going to use my blacks. Um, I'm going to try my um, charcoal pencil first. Now, there's a little bit of texture here uh, from the paper to the um, substrate. Um, sometimes, if you can't get close enough to the edge to use that, um, you would go to your um, black uh, Stabilo pencil and it just gives it a little bit different look. Now I'm going to put a little bit of water there and use my brush and pull it out. You see how that just, it just, whoo, just pops, just, just makes it like you're turning on a light <laughs> so either one here um, I'm liking right now the best because it has so much texture I'm liking my Stabilo pencil you um, do what you like uh, like Tim Holt says all the time if you watch his video you do you uh -huh. so yeah you find out what you like and what products you want to have on your desk and then that's what you do you just go for it that way i'm going to get a little bit more water that butt got pretty intense here and then i'm just going to kind of wipe it out so it's not such a harsh line there but look at how that looks compared to that lovely lovely okay I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to do it off camera. And I'm going to come back to show you when it's done. Just like I said, I'd do the other side. And I, when I did this butterfly, I didn't do the antennae. So um, I will put those in also. And I'm going to use a permanent marker to do that. Uh, one of my favorite permanent markers is going to be the Posca paint pan. It's a Uniposca. This size is a PC1MR 0.7 millimeters. I will link all this stuff for you, okay? I will link. I, I haven't been very good at that in this series because... We really hadn't used much to link, you know, it was kind of just substrates and our, our general things. But I will link all those for you 
um, in the description at the end of this video, okay? I promise. Okay, so we got that, and I'll also link my um, my pastels because they make a huge difference, I think, and they're so fun to use. Okay, so we're going to set this aside. This is going to have to dry, but I'm going to go ahead and do my edge, and I'm going to do it with my black chalk writer on this one, and you're just going to see how amazing now, when I was on Sean Petit's design team, she um, does this all the time, too. She edges her um, finished pieces, and I just think it it is just fantastic. And um, I love it. I love it. I love it. She uses charcoal or a soft pastel to do hers. I can't stop. Now I'm just going to have to go around this whole thing just because. And there is some amazing texture. You can pull it out like that. And you can wipe it off with your wet towel because it is what? Water soluble. We're using all of our water soluble products now at the end because that's the last step besides sealing. And I'm going to show you sealing also. Okay, look at that. Ooh. So I'm going to go around, do the rest myself with my black stabilo pencil. I'm going to be very careful not to touch those edges because they're going to get on my hands. And then I'm going to work with these beautiful, beautiful um, soft pastels. And I'll find a cool, uh, really neat orange. And I think this is probably going to be it. Look at that. Yes, it just brings out all of that beautiful butterfly color. And then there's some yellow here. That one might be a little bright. See, it's a little bright for me, but that's okay because it's water soluble. I can wipe that one right off of there. That needs to dry a bit, but I'll try this color. And that is the color, right? Like I said, you can watch all the videos you want, but you won't get any better at using your supplies unless you use your supplies. Okay, so I'm going to finish this one off camera, and then we're going to scoot over to this one. Now this one is a little challenging for me. Um, I'm not sure what we can do here, but I'm going to I'm going to darken the black on her outfit here. Let's see what that looks like. I'm just going to use this black um, chalk crayon. That already looks better, doesn't it? I'm going to get some up here. You just dial it up like a, cha a lipstick, chapstick, what have you. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, blacken the blacks, and I'm going to white lighten the whites, okay? And we're going to see how that goes on this piece. And I'm just using my finger to get in those little crevices and if it doesn't work perfectly fine because there's so much texture on here then I will go to um, a wet brush and move it that way okay so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna use this and I'm going to use my white let's see what the white does here I'm just gonna color them in
and I think this is going to work great. Pretty cool! Okay, so I'm going to work on that off camera also. I'm going to blacken the edge on this one. I'm going to use black just like we did on our others. And then when we're all finished with all our color down, everything that we want to do, look at that. Ooh. We're going to seal it. And you're going to want to seal it because if you don't, all this water-soluble product that you're putting on here will come right off on whoever's hands that wants to look at it. They'll say, oh, this is beautiful. They'll pick it up and it'll be on their hand like that. So you got to seal it. So when you get done with everything on all the pieces, now this one, this one I would go around with my black paint too, uh, just um, our acrylic paint to finish the edges. When you're done with all your colors, You're going to want to seal them. Now, this is what I use. Um, I use this Spectrafix, and I'll link it below. It is um, an aerosol. Um, yeah. And it is non-toxic, all-natural, and oil-free. Perfect for soft pastel, oils, pastel, color pencils, graphite, charcoal, and more. So this is the baby. Um, you're going to spray let it dry then you're going to spray it again and you're going to let it dry and then you can go over it with something like a polycrylic and this is a water-based product cleans right up with water and um, your brush and this one i use is a semi-gloss now these tips i got from sean petit this is what she uses this is what um, she likes and it's also what I have tried and what I like. Now, I also like this um, same thing here, but this is in a spray. This one you have to take outside. And I will link all of these things for you in the description below. So if there's anything that you think you may need or want, you can go right ahead to the links and purchase those. And um, I'm going to set this over here. And I bet you cannot wait to see all of these finished products in the pictures at the end. I can't wait. I'm excited about finishing them. So if any of you worked on these projects with me, please send me, um, send me some pictures. Uh, send me an email. All of my information is in the description below. I would absolutely love to see them. Um, I did close my group, Everything Paper and Glue. I just did not have enough activity on there to make it worth my time. Um, I was spending, I, I was spending probably about uh, 30 minutes a day, seven days a week. You know, you're looking right around four hours a week well of time four hours a week of week um, I can be in my uh, craft room my art studio and I can be working on projects and bringing you great videos so I, I, I feel that I just needed to close it for now if anyone um, has opinion on opening it again you just let me know and we'll think about it I can reopen it and we can start right back from where we were so get your things out work on your non sal your water soluble excuse me uh products and finish your pro projects i hope you absolutely loved this series and i hope that it helped you peggy peggy was the one that wanted me to do this so um i hope it works for you and if you have comments questions or concerns all my information is linked below in the description. 
and um, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Next week we are going to um, an either art journal page or some greeting cards. I have a couple of things on my desk that I'm dying to show you. So hope to see you soon and thanks so much for watching and I appreciate you being here. Bye for now. Thank you.